out sometimes, and um, uh, in one of his poems, he says, uh, "It's after a while, I just got up and took a walk, is the name of the poem, and uh, I just adore it. He said, to be among tall grasses, nuzzling light. To be among tall grasses, nuzzling light, is a church of sorts. Tall blades like fingers, like knives sharpening in the air, forming silent prayers toward morning, toward night. Our sun or moon or distant stars cuddle a close arrangement of wordless psalms. Not wishing to claim credit or change beliefs in the endless moments uncounted to the sky, Hear whispers, the whispers, whispers. And the next one coming from one of Jeff's poems. Uh, uh, and the name of the poem was A Short Distance from Mountains which is one of my favorite things on the planet anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, he said, the truth is half a day can pass with nothing more than the scent of honeysuckle before approaching rain. The truth is half a day can pass with nothing more than the scent of honeysuckle before approaching rain. That's a poem right there. I mean, any way you look at it. Is the scent of honeysuckle truer when rain approaches? Is rain that can't find a place to fall truer than a downpour? Is the creative spirit that gives honeysuckle rain as well as a scent that romances the nose and draws bees to feed as true as my mother's womb that brought three brothers and a sister to this little planet? Are we as holy as being born in a barn in Bethlehem? Are such questions as unanswerable as honeysuckle, rain, the sound of wind, and spring oak leaves? 